don't know what this is, but I'm staying away from it. Where am I? Damn it. What am I doing here? Now is not the time. Leave me up. Come on, you mongrels. So here. Yeah! 
Who oh, there? It's here. This isn't happening. This can't be happening. And here, call me to you. Where am I? Where am I? Hello, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm here! Lead me to you! Right here, my love, right here. Please, you.
No! I have you. You have me. No, don't go. I'm here. Follow me. Where are you going? Over here. I have you. I'm right here. Where are you? Do not be troubled. How could I not be? To have lost you and found you like this. And you're hungry. That's one way to say it. Yes. What can I do? Charles's Bible. The tie that bound his ghost. Some essence remains upon it. For now, it will do me. you're here. I'm glad you're back. Truly. The living should not truck with the dead. I've known that since childhood. I learned the hard way. You never told me this. What happened? It was a lifetime ago. For now, it doesn't matter.
Are you still hungry? I'm hollow. As if I were filled with emptiness. So the essence Charles left on his Bible was useless. Consuming his tie did make me feel better. But I'll need more. Much more. We should talk about what happened. After the meeting house, I mean. What do you remember from after you died? I remember the suddenness of my death. I remember nothing, but... After that, a nothingness. Timeless. Lost. And then I heard you. You spoke my name. I searched for a way back. I woke up in a cave. Been rescued by a young woman named Seeker. A witch's apprentice. She was proud to tell me that. Her mistress had sent her to take care of me. Witches rarely show themselves. Intriguing that one would help us. I think we should go back to New Eden Town. I agree. To free me, I believe we must reclaim my body. I refuse to be this way. I'll not abide it. I'm so sorry, my love. How can I help? I'm a ghost. You're a banisher. I'll not banish you. I cannot and tear. So you die. You can't ask that of me. If that's what I wanted, you'd have no choice. But you don't wish it, do you? Not before I've had my revenge. Not before I've seen the nightmare defeated by you and me both. In the schoolhouse, he joked about bringing me back to life. Is that possible? Yes. The ritual of lesser palingenesis. It's extremely difficult. Highly dangerous. I could try, right? You'd teach me and I'd bring you back. Red. It's an ancient ritual. It requires power. It consumes essence in large quantities. We're talking about human sacrifice. Murder. Just maybe we could consider it. I mean, if there's the slightest chance I could bring you back, I'd take it. It's a dark ritual, Red. It's tempting, and that's dangerous. To think of being back in your arms. I'm tempted too. Could I give you your assent? That would be the simplest solution, but not the easiest. Why? My body is my tie, and the nightmare still holds it. In the meeting house, but before she let me fall, I swear she dared me to come back. She's as devious as she is powerful. She won't just hand it over. Then what shall we do? If we are to return to New Eden Town, we must first learn more about our enemy. Charles said nightmares don't appear without good reason. Yes. We have a mystery to solve. Witches to meet. People to find and questions to ask. And then you'll help me go. One way or another. I will. I swear it, my love. Rest. You need it. I'll stay close.
On to New Eden, whichever way it lies. We'll need provisions, going for the basics. We'll manage, together. What the hell happened here? Well, if you're gonna play with salt circles, you better get them right, lad. See no bodies. Maybe the wolves took him. Can you not see the symbols on the wall? No. Take my hand. I want to try something. Whoa. Is that possible through our bane rings? They allow us to connect the invisible and the incarnate. Through this bond, what I see I bestow on you. Are those webs made of spectral stains? Let me. All these years, the things we must have missed. The dead hide more from the living than we thought. This is going to be helpful. from the invisible. Fight them together. Wasn't much use. You were, I promise. You'll get better. Things will get better. That spectre, it's heading for that corpse. Standing by. Vector possession.
just New Eden Town. What happened here for the veil to be so thin? War, invasion, or colonization of a land that's vulnerable to haunting. I like a bit of rabbit, but these are off. That'll be why the wolves haven't eaten them. Hunting gear. Perhaps our trappers are nearby. You took yourself up there very fast. That might take some getting used to, for both of us. And there, will people be able to tell I'm haunted? Perhaps, if they had talent or training. What if someone sees you? Unlikely. If they had talent or training, they wouldn't have needed us banishers. These witches you mentioned must know something about the nightmare. Aye, but can we trust them? Well, witches only involve themselves with people if they absolutely have to. Yours must have good reason. I think I see a crossing. Over there. Signs of civilization. Lucky me. Nice place. Wolves and spectres aside. Don't you have wolves and spectres in the highlands? Aye, but I was of the courtesy of letting me catch my breath between fights. Bad news. The bridge is out. Then we'll find another road to New Eden. Strange. I see stains, but not the usual kind. Well, and up and down we go. Those stains, they seem to call to me. It's hard to think clearly. The hunger is back and it's growing fast. Already? Right, let's find something to sustain you. There's someone inside. Someone tainted.
Ben, you're back. Beg pardon. I thought you were someone else. You hungry, friend? The stew is thin enough, but I'd be glad to share. Kind of you to offer, lad. But no, thank you. Been a while since I've seen another human's face. You come from camp? You a hunter? Of sorts. Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. Like in the stories. Jacob Lind. I'm a trapper. <laughs> That's a real job. Who's Ben? Another trapper? Hi, the best of them. Taught me all I know. He's out now, but he'll be back. When has he gone? The bridge is down. As down as down can be. Can't cross. Bad things lurk in the shadows. They sent flesh. Game's low. Game's low and Ben's gone. He'll find game, he will. I know it. Where did you meet Ben? We found each other. Brothers in spirit, he said. He's been good to me. Too good. Why? He's important to you. I? And me to him. What lurks in the shadows? Is that what keeps you here? That... and the fog. Can't hunt if you can't see. Ben shoots better than me. Knows the woods better too. I'd only slow him. Only slow him. He's lost his nerve. Or a ghost has taken it from him. What are you doing here? Had you nowhere safer? The woods are kind to them as knows them. We hunt here. When we get pelts and meat, we trade in New Eden. But game's been scarce. We've not to trade, so we wait. When even the wolves are starving, you know it's going to be a bad winter. How long have you been out here alone? I don't know. I lose track. And I'm not alone. God is with me in the scriptures. Would you like me to read to you? Another time, perhaps. You're exhausted. And surprising given how tainted are these woods. Are you sleeping? I don't like sleeping. I see things. Bright eyes in the leaves. What does tainted mean? Marked by ghosts. Haunted. Tell me of your nightmares. One nightmare. Always the same one. Ben has it too. Would you care to share them? No. No. It is a nightmare. Nothing more. Get some rest, Jacob. You need it. If you see Ben, tell him I'm thinking of him. Tall lad, even when he's lying down. Can't miss him. Poor child. He's shrouded in spectral stains. Do you sleep here, Jacob? Ben sleeps here. I don't sleep. There are maggots in the bed. Your meat's turning, friend. Food is scarce. We make do. 
Whatever haunts the boy spawns maggots. We should talk to this Ben fellow. Are these Ben's things? Most of them. Not the rope. You can have it if you want. Kind of you. Thank you. Ben went out without a gun. We're trappers, not hunters. We had the gun for safety, but it got damp. Done work. He's so confused, I doubt he knows what year it is. What happened to him? Maybe his mate abandoned him. Quick mist. Spun by a ghost after a violent death. Anisha row number eight. Don't get lost in quick mist, lest the spectres get you. Wise, but I see no other way. Either Ben was lost in the mist, or he's the source of it. You might be able to drop down from here. I do love a drop into the deep unknown. Can't see further than the end of my arm down there. Don't worry, it'll affect your other senses too. Oh, this quick mist is thicker than a Scotch Dragoon. It smells almost as bad. I could show you the way. Just saying. Wait. That's, that's better, and a little terrifying. Something's concealed. Do you see that? It looks like the fog is coming from those odd-looking stalagmites. Hold on. I think I can rid us of the quick mist. Oh. Well, I'm partly made of the same stuff. Find what caused it. You mean, let's find out who died. Mm, traces of a struggle. An echo hangs on it. I raise for now. The Veil of Shadows. I can't. I can't do it no more. 
On your feet, Lind. We don't no. give up. I've had enough. There's no way up. There's no way down. For days we've eaten nothing but boiled shoe leather. I'm done. We don't give up. <laughs> Leave me be. God be damned, I'm sick of carrying you! What are you doing? Don't hurt me! I hate you. I hate you! Ben died in the fall. And now his maggoty ghost is back to haunt the friend who pushed him. So was Jacob lying to hide the murder? He wouldn't be the first. We need to find the body, if the wolves haven't gotten there first. has been torn to pieces. No, wait. He's been carved with a knife. For his meat. Still no tie. At Jacob's hovel, perhaps? Something's nearby. Where is it? Jacob was eating meat. Jacob was eating Ben. Desperate, starving boys. Sometimes you must do what it takes to survive. Something's concealed. Another insight. Run, Red. Let's look for our tie while Jacob's outside.
Poor lad. His food is the meat of the matter. And Tia, that's horrible. Never heard a worse pun. I like it. Yes, still disgusting. I think I found our tie. How did I not notice it before? There were so many spectral stains, it's a wonder we found it at all. Come on, let's talk to Ben. Oh, there to you, Jacob. Mr. McCraith, sir? You were struggling yourself and Ben. Why'd you not leave? Leave? No, can't leave. This here is home. We trap here, we eat here, we tan pelt to leather here. Our lives are here. Can't leave. Did you not try the river? The fog had to lift sometime, and if you stay, you'll starve. We have enough. Thanks to Ben. But you did try to leave, didn't you? You packed up and left. Do you not remember reaching the cliff top? Cliff top makes a fine lookout. Game comes to the water to drink. You can pick him off if in your aim be good enough. Has he lost his mind? Or is he tricking with us? I can't tell. Farewell to you, Mr. Lind. Farewell, Mr. McCray, sir. Farewell. Ghost is not far. You know what to do to make it appear. You're not yes. Jacob. Still disgusting. Who's you? My name is Red McCraith. The Scot. You? Antea Duarte. We're banishers. We can help you. I'm beyond help. Where's Jacob? We know what befell you, Benedict. What keeps you here? He does. He waits and waits and waits on me. He'll not face what he has done, and I cannot go. I cannot go. But I'll not hate him. How could I? We thought him lost, in mind and reason. Who'd not lose their mind? Stuck in place for weeks on end, deprived of a living, deprived of a life. Though I denied it, I saw it coming. I became... wary. Some part of me knew what he was thinking, because I was thinking it too. What do you want from Jacob? Do you seek revenge? I seek no vengeance. He is I, and I am him. Why do you not confront him? Why not show yourself? I did. He thought me alive. He showed me stake he'd scavenged. He was so proud. He offered me a share. He needs to face the truth, to accept what he has done to both of us. At night, he'd read scripture. God would mind us if we were good and honest. Jacob taught me that. We were good. We lived honest lives. We kept to ourselves, minded our business, and no one else's. So tell me, Banisher, 
What did we do to deserve this? I'm sorry. Despair can drive a good man to a bad place. God only visits hardship upon us because he knows we can bear it. You tried many times to leave this place. I tried and failed. Week on week, month on month maybe. We went in circles. The woods are tricky, sir. Treacherous. Maybe. Round, 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 and round, round, and back, back again. again. Jacob said you both had had nine years. The same nine years. I? Yeah, yeah, don't go to sleep. Couldn't tell truth from, from, from my fantasy. The shadows seem to flicker flick flick corners, corners, corners of our eyes. How well have you and Jacob been out here in the woods? Someone urges now, but this one, it never ends. No way out, no way in. We were alone, not on our own side. No, when things changed, we got stuck. These guys are the same ones. Thank you, Benedict. Perhaps we'll talk again. again. Perhaps we shall, Banisher. Sure. Perhaps we shall. Jacob must confess. I fear the truth will break him. Who oh, there to you, Jacob? Mr. McCraith, sir? I'm sorry, Jacob, we must talk. Something has happened to Benedict. What? Where is he? What happened? Come on now, Jacob. If something's happened to Ben, say so. Where is he? Benedict is in pain. For his sake, you need to remember what happened. You need to remember what you did. But I... No. I would never... I couldn't hurt him. I love him. Jacob, look at me. It's safe to remember. Now tell me, what happened on that cliff top? I was tired. So tired. Hunger was digging holes in me, burning in my throat. I could think of nothing else. We don't give up, we don't give in. But I wanted to. I wanted it all to stop. Yet you gave up on Benedict, and then you turned on him. I failed him. I failed Benedict. I was so angry, so angry. He kept pushing me. We kept, we argued, and I couldn't think. When I saw him lying there on the ground, lifeless, the whisper said, it was him or me, him or me. I would have died. I should have died. My sins, I deserve no better. I failed God. I failed my friend. I'm a monster. I deserve no mercy. No. You're just a sinner, begging for help. We both faced a choice, simple and awful, to kill or to die. You struck first and here we are. Do you forgive me? I 
Our fates are in the hands of others now. Yes. Banisher, do your job. If you're to come back, if we're to use the ritual we spoke of, this is when it starts. Red, if we take one step along that path... Jacob is ready to die. The others won't be. We'll tell lies. We'll harvest the essence of the living. I'll shoulder the blame. As the man says, we face a choice, simple and awful. Do we kill to be together again? Or do we part forever? We must decide now. Benedict Stoughton, in the face of life's inexplicable hardships, at times to stay alive we must do terrible things. In his despair, your best friend stole your life. Then he compounded his sin. He fed on your flesh. Confessing his sins, he offered to forfeit his life. He has told the truth. You may go in peace. We were trapped. The snare was set to kill us slow. Jacob, my friend, my only friend. I forgive all. I forgive everything. It's over, Jacob. Ben's gone for good. Ben's been gone a long time. I know that now. I need to give him his last right. Please. I need to be alone. It's over. The tie will sustain me a little longer. Jacob, would you mind if I rest inside a while? Suit yourself. No more maggots. Ben is gone for good.
killed and ate his friend. When I was a soldier, I heard many stories of those besieged eating their own. Some were true. Famine is a ferocious master. Jacob was hungry. Yeah, just like you. Just like me. How do you feel? I feel trapped. Locked into an embrace with a nightmare. I crave. I crave essence. With it, I'd not so fast decay. With it, I'd not so quickly become one of those stupid bloody specters. I should have blamed Jacob. He certainly deserved it. What if we change our minds? What then? Then, so I may have my resurrection, we'll steal human essence. We'll kill people for our own ends. Living, breathing people. We'll be banishers no longer. Right. That's that settled. Thank you. I hope you've no regrets. For soon, you'll release me. I'll have my ascent. I hardly want to let you go. I know, but you must. Oh, can I? I am a shadow, caged and fading. You are still here? Still you? We could- Jacob Lynn's essence called to me. I knew it wrong, but I desired it. There lies perdition for both of us. I cannot abide what I have become. I don't want to abandon you, but I must. So be it, my love. We will reclaim your body. I'll have your ascent. I swear it. Let's go back to the bridge. I feel stronger. Let's see if I was right about those spectral stains. That's it. I think I can jump the gap. Your bane rings will help. Can you find the place where the stains align? Oh. 
Are you all right? <sighs> Never better. <sighs> That jump was quite something. Ghosts are quite something. But I feel clumsy. I have no idea what I'm doing. You'll master it. You've mastered everything else. Another road to nowhere. Can we jump this? Spectral stains are out of reach. I've nothing to work with here. So we find another way. Stupid country. When we get back to New Eden Town, you can make a complaint. No way through here, neither, far as I can see. Don't let that spectre get to the court. Spectres have gathered around. Why not force them to appear? What do you see? Anything useful? My voice commands you! Unveil! Did I just do the wrong ritual? Reveal your true self! I'm right here, you know. I... Down to hell. Sharpen up. Watch out! Spectre possession! This one's protected. It's coming for you! Watch out! Spectre possession! Ready and waiting! I... This bite's not easily chewed. That's 
suspect has seen a corpse and it wants it for its own. Where the corpse is this half? Almost there. Stay put. What do you see? Anything useful? There are stains. If they line up, perhaps we can jump. I'm sure you can. Just try to be gentle this time. Here. That's high. Trust me. Yes. Remind me to close my eyes next time. Lind mentioned the hunter's camp. It may be close. Something's there. Something alive. Yes. Who are you and where did you spring from? I've come from New Eden Town. That's a very long way from here, sir. Who are you? My name is Red McCraith. I work for the selectmen of New Eden Town. I'm a banisher. Didn't you and the other one die in the meeting house? I fell in the water. And the tide took me. I survived. Up to now, anyway. I've never seen a banisher before. I expected more. Could I please continue this conversation with my feet on the ground? Easy now. Stop your jiggling. Hold still, I said. You try holding still when some lassie's shooting at you. In that oh. case, banish her. You may escape the trap yourself. Wait. What? No, no, come on! Our camp lies downhill. I'll wait for you there. Come back here. Shit! I don't suppose you can help me, can you? 
That was entertaining. <laughs> it's good to see you smile. Wait. Something's there. Something alive. No. Not hard enough. Take a wee punch, are you? This place is empty so long it's rotting. Signs of life ahead. Did we miss a few? Move it! 
This must be the camp the rope lady talked about. Doesn't look like much from here. Who was she anyway? Some species of huntress. She took no liking to you. Hard times like these, fewer folk will help a stranger. Fortifications. Grim face is not a good sign. So rest and restock, then onwards to New Eden Town. Good day, madam. And a good day to you too, sir. I've not seen your face before. Where did you spring from then? That, madam, is a long story. I'm Red McCraith. I'm the Banisher. Edith Keane. Miss Keane, if you prefer. There. We're no longer strangers. Though the times remain strange indeed. Not bad, eh? Oh, I don't doubt we'll prevail. But right now we're tired and hungry. Are you back here alone? In the New World, I mean. No family back in England? There's no husband, if that's what you're asking. And I don't want one, neither. I've a plot to farm and a brother to feed, and that's enough. I mean, look around you. How could I possibly want more than all of this? Why should I want silk when I have all this shit? You're a man alone in the world. You're not bad looking, but you don't look rich. Know what you should do? Find yourself a rich man and marry him. Ha! What's new? I'm sorry, sir. Too busy to talk. God will bless this place, but he needs us to do the work. You understand? Yeah, of course. I must go. Take care, sir. With God's help, we shall all see better days. Vanish you. You made it. Come up. I wish a word with you. So, you found us safely, Red McWraith. Aye. Well, thanks to you. I had to know you could look out for yourself. You're welcome to stay until you're told to leave. I'm Kate Newsmith. Far as you're concerned, I'm in charge round here. Newsmith? Anything to thick skin? Aye. We're sisters. Me and Antea, we met her in town when we first landed. Thickskin will return from the hunt soon enough. Sorry for your loss, by the by. Why might you tell me to leave? He who don't pitch in, pitches out. We'll not go hungry to feed him that don't contribute. Hungry? Child, you have no idea. All right, I'll stay a while. I have certain skills, if they may be of use. Our hearts are low. Nightmares plague our sleep. Do what needs doing, help who needs helping. Well, give me some names. Prudence Hick. A widow, like so many. She cooks. Lately she's cooked shite. He who puts the food aright is a hero indeed. How fares New Eden Town? I'm heading back that way. You're mad. There's no going back. There's not to go back to. We may be all that's left. New Eden Town now is naught but sorrow, pestilence and death. Some of our band were homesick. We heard them screaming in the woods. They didn't come back. Something wicked prowls. Folk dream of a murderous beast that'll kill them if they dare to leave camp. There was a second group. They never arrived. Something the beast got them. 
Like I say, we may be all that's left. Guilt. Dread. She puts a brave face on it, but the truth is in her eyes. I'll make the rounds. I'll pay my respects to Widow Hake and see what's the bar. If you can't find Prudence, ask Jane. They're close. Also, please check on our blacksmith. His already meagre skills have lately declined. Talk to Jane, talk to Prudence, check the forge. Talk to anyone who needs help, which is probably everyone. Right, got it? One empty cabin remains. A tree fell on it. But you may have what's left. Welcome to the dark woods. In your forays into the woods, have you seen many bone walkers? What the hell's a bone walker? Corpses possessed by malignant spirits. The dead walking. You'd know if you'd seen one. God spare us. Have you? Of course not. Standard question. I have to ask it. Bone walkers seem drawn to us, but not them. Is it you? Is it me? We both? Can I ask you, what do you know about the nightmare? I have bad dreams, aye. The worst kind. We all do. A nightmare is what we banishers call the creature in the meeting house. It's a breed of ghost. A bad one. Aren't they all? Town was doomed. My sister knew it. After... Well, after your mishap, it was time for us to go. Your bad dreams. Care to share? Might be the hunger. Might be the fear. But we all seem to dream the same dream. A beast. A wolf, but not a wolf. Larger, stranger. It howls and hunts from the shadows. Intriguing indeed. But still, just a dream. Is it? Thick skin apart. Those who leave don't come back. Some blame the beast. We stay close to camp now. Tell me about this beast. Though we've heard it howl, none have seen it. We've heard screaming too, and those who've travelled on have not returned alive. We hope against hope that they've found their way to Boston, as we must, if we're not to starve. But our dreams say they did not. There's really no way out. We can live here, on the edge of starvation, keeping our cheer as best we can. Or we can die in the woods, prey to a drooling beast. We choose to live. I must ask you about the camp. Ask? Where's your sister? Out, making the rounds, hunting if she finds game. One new smith stays while the other new smith goes. She goes out alone? She's thrice the hunter anyone else is here. We'd only slow her down, she says. Have you been here long? Huh. Not one of us knows for sure. Time here flies for some. For others it stands still. There's no night, so counting days is difficult. What would Thick Skin say? <laughs> She'd say about a month. She'd be lying. We both counted days, but the numbers didn't tally. I gave up. The nightmare twists the perception of the passage of time. These folk have not escaped the curse. Who about the place needs help, do you think? Something's not right at the forge. You could start there. I'll take my leave of you for now. Rest. You'll need it for my sister's return. I'll send for you.